On the 3rd of June 1991, a man under the name Eduardo Collin checked into a motel in Albuquerque, New Mexico. He was only supposed to stay for a night and be gone by the next morning, but by the 5th of June, he still hadn't checked out, and the motel staff were beginning to ask questions. A security guard went to the room and knocked but he didn't get an answer. He attempted to open the door, but it was not only locked, it was actually deadbolted from the inside. And after prying it open with a screwdriver, he understood why. A young woman was found in the bathroom of the motel room, and she had seemingly taken her own life, and had more than likely been there since the first day they checked in. Eduardo was nowhere to be found. By all signs, he also left after checking in. It's possible that he didn't even stay the night. The woman was found with quite a bit of heroin in her system, and there were other substances found in the room. There was also a scale that was likely used to weigh drugs with the name George Martinez on the bottom of it. This name was quite common and because of that, it did not create any new leads. But right beside this scale was something that was bound to create a lead and that was an actual photo of the woman who was found in the bathroom. The picture was taken in a photo booth and it shows the woman and a man who police believe to be Eduardo Collin. This was also confirmed by the motel staff, although they only saw Eduardo briefly. The team investigating the woman's death put this photo out to the public and asked anybody who knew her to come forward with information. They did not suspect any foul play as there weren't any windows in the motel room and it was of course deadbolted shut. There were also no signs of struggle and because of this, Eduardo was not considered a suspect, but they still wanted to identify the woman for obvious reasons. However, despite having an actual photo of the woman, nobody came forward and her identity remained a mystery for over 30 years with no new leads. Immediately after the woman was found, Found, police attempted to find Eduardo himself to see if he knew anything about the identity of the woman. However, even though they had his name and a possible photo, they could not identify him. It was likely that he had left the state at this stage and had been gone for a few days. It wasn't until a few years later that they found Eduardo's family and were able to question them. At this stage, Eduardo had passed away from natural causes and his family were not able to identify the woman in the photo and in fact, questioning them actually pushed the progress of this case a few steps back because because the family claimed that the man in the photo was not Eduardo. Like I said previously, the motel staff only saw Eduardo for a few moments, so their confirmation that it was him in the photos could have been wrong. There's also a chance that Eduardo's family could have thought he was in some kind of trouble, so they said it wasn't him to protect him, but that theory doesn't add up too well considering the fact that he passed away at this stage, and like I said, he was not a suspect. Essentially, the case had gone extremely cold, and it remained that way until 2021, when the police released a new lead. KCAL News released the following segment about it. Now, do you recognize this woman? Police in Albuquerque need help solving a cold case. They say the woman was found dead in a motel room back in 1991. She had no ID, but based on a recent tip, they believe her name is Becca, and they say she was reportedly from the L.A. area. She was wearing this multicolored tank top and white denim pants. So, somebody had come forward and told the police that this woman's name was Becca and that she was from the Los Angeles area. The police did not disclose who gave them this information, but regardless, it still did not lead to any kind of resolution, which is very strange because by all accounts, we now have a name, a photograph, and the area she was most likely from. Still, we don't know who Becca actually is. There have been a few possibilities suggested on Reddit, but it seems as if these haven't led to any actual answers. For a case that has so much information, it also beg so many questions, the main ones being the following. Who is the man in this photo? If it's not Eduardo, it's likely one of Becca's friends or potentially a former partner, especially considering she carried this phone with her, which may suggest that it had some kind of sentimental value to her. Finding out who he is may lead to more answers and it could help solve this case. Another question is who gave the police the name Becca and why did they know this information? It could of course have been an anonymous tip, but the police obviously took it seriously enough to release it to the public, so the info may have been authenticated in some way, shape, or form. Shorty, the person who knew this information, might have other info that could help this case. And the final question, and the most obvious, is who is Becca? Again, we have a name, we have a photograph that has two people in it, and now we have some renewed interest in the case. I hope with all of this, somebody can come forward and figure it out. Becca was somebody who obviously had a great deal of personal struggles and demons, and she deserves to have her real identity acknowledged and recognized. I'll leave a few links down below to some Reddit threads and information I found while making this video. If you want to explore the case further, you should check them out. That's all for now. I will see you in the next video.